Good afternoon, Man 25 Gamers. In today's live commentary, we've got the Cincinnati Bengals, and our opponent has the New Orleans Saints. Uh, the playbooks we're using, we're using the New York Giants playbook on offense, and we are using the 4-3 uh, defensive playbook on, on defense. So, um, starting out here, I uh, just want to give you guys another gameplay. Uh, thank you guys, and hopefully you guys can learn something from these, these live commentaries. Kind of walk you through what I'm thinking live. Now, this is another game where... Uh, we're just kind of testing some some different things that we're working on right now, uh, offensively and defensively. Some adjustments and some additions uh, to the de to the uh, full offense and defensive scheme. And also, guys, if you want to check out my full um, offensive and defensive scheme uh, that we're that you're seeing in this in this video and, and all my other live commentaries, you can check out. Um, Zboy365, and it will be coming soon on his website. So you can check it out. He and I are going to do a di uh, dynamic duo guide. Um, we're going to join together for a e guide on his uh, website. If you want to check that out, that'd be uh, awesome. Now it's not done yet. Um, just got, but we did get confirmation um, today that we are going to be doing it. We just don't quite know yet time frame for it. Um, hoping to get it done this week, maybe next week uh, with this guy here. So, so starting out here, we're just going to kind of stick with this generic uh, halfback base type stuff. Easy, simple um, reads here. And I've been working a lot more on like when to go to what. So, I still really don't know. Um, one of my main problems right now in Madden, and you guys can possibly talk about this in the in the comment section. Um, when to go to what? Like, when do you get out of your base formation? You know, especially in a situation where you can't have um, audibles, so you kind of have to like, you're either in your formation or you're not. Oh, I thought I caught that one. So, I don't know, you guys can talk it up. Um, we got a new base play I'm running here at a 4-4. Um, seems like every day I find something else I like about this formation. Um, just a lot of stuff. That I like out of this. Now, the one problem with 4-4... That I've been trying to find a solution to. Um, uh oh. Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping he went past there, but um, one of the things I've been trying to find a solution to uh, is how can you use the four four and still be good against the run without. You having to use her the safety, or is there a way that I can get someone to play the safety's assignment for me, so that I'm free to play underneath? I feel like that's one of the main weaknesses of it is the fact that there's a lot of times where you know you want to play underneath, but you have to be disciplined and remember your responsibility to the deep passes. So that's what I've been working on today. See, like right here, I know I'm responsible for that. So, the I mean, it's a, it's a, I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing because you can kind of bait people into throwing at you. But if you make a mistake or you, or you just, you know, sometimes Madden just doesn't let you user control who you want to user control, then you could be screwed ultimately. So it's just kind of like just trying to keep refining and refining and refining. That's the problem with writing the e guide is, you know. I really, I really want to, uh, I'm going to talk to Z, maybe see if we can get some kind of an upgrade or something going, where you would get like a film room or something. Basically, some, you know, basically gameplay like this where I discuss, you know, what I'm doing differently or like if I add additional plays into the offense and defense, like you would, basically you would get those in your little up uh, up your little t uh, tab on your on your guidebook and that would just take you to a room where basically you would be updated so 
I don't know yet. It's all kind of up in the air as far as that stuff goes. But I do know I really need to... Um, I do know we are doing something. I will be doing something for you guys to break this stuff down. Um, because I, I like doing Scheme of the Week. But the one problem with Scheme of the Week is... It, I'm limited to only one video per formation or per scheme. So I have to kind of limit how much I'm able to talk about so I can only give you guys like the generic stuff that you can understand whereas with the guidebook and, and that's the beauty of like the defense and stuff you know I might be able to I'm gonna be able to go in depth on like formation breakdowns and, and tendencies and how to stop this how to stop that what do you want to look for here so that you can really adapt and, and really become the player you should be in Madden so hopefully you guys will um you know, be willing to check that out. I'm pretty excited about it. It's my first official guide. Luckily, I have Z-Boy to help me walk through the process. But, it, you know, I have written a couple of other guides. You can check out my NCAA Offense and Defensive Guide on my blog. Uh, I am going to be working on I've been working on it all year, really. Just haven't ever finished it. But my free defensive guide um, for the... I think it was Cincinnati off uh, defensive playbook. I had it, like almost done, and then I found out. Oh gosh, there's a lot more still left to go. So like I had like 42 pages of breakdowns, and I think that covered a total of. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was like that covered a total of maybe three formations, and I had like 12 formations to go. So. Yeah, it would have been ridiculous, so. So I'm trying to figure out how how I can, because that stuff takes a long time to do. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a simpler method or whatever, but there you see the slot trail doing what the slot trail does. I've been trying to, to try out some different formation. Like I said, the problem with running this playbook without audibles is you want to stay to, you want to have your bread and butter, but... Like, you have to go away from it, because if you don't, then they're just sit on it. But, unfortunately, wait, without audibles, it's like, when do you go to this look? Because, like, the way we should be working is, is you know, um, the way we should be working is, like, if I see him do something, then I should be able to check out. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works. And it's a, it's, it's a double-edged sword for both sides of the, of the gridiron. I think it hurts the offense a little more. The ability, the, the lack of a uh, no audibles because a lot of like there's some playbooks like Atlanta where the stock audibles are actually pretty decent, but then there's playbooks like New York who really you you kind of want to set your audibles. You know some of your better plays are are not in your quick audibles. So I don't know, just kind of up in the air right now. All right, so gun bunch or a uh, single back bunch here. And I find that when running this defense, there's a certain level of um, like for some reason when you're using the safety, you could just stand there and they won't they won't throw it. <laughs> you don't even have to be in position. You could literally just sit there, hold L2, and that messes people up. I don't know why, but it's just something I've noticed. Alright, so this is the down where everyone likes to throw like four verticals. I still don't understand that. Like that time, he sent two or three people deep. It's third and two. Why would you ever, you know, I don't know. That's just my personality. I don't, I don't understand that really. Now we're just going to run the quick snap stuff, so that's fine. Um, one of the things about 4-4 that you will have to understand I don't understand why we're quick snapping so much, but whatever. One of the things about 4-4 that you really will have to understand is when, like, there's certain routes that you can let go deep and the corners will just play them. That's horrible stick there. But you can let certain routes go deep. And, like, there you see they play them. And then there's other routes that if you let them go deep, you're kind of, you have potentially, it'll be a touchdown if you're not careful so it's like it's kinda like a catch-22 where you could pick the well, it's really just a double-edged sword because you could either 
you can either make the right read, and then, you know, at right there, you get a pick, or you can make the wrong read, and it'd be a touchdown for them. So it's kind of like, you just gotta, you just gotta understand the defense, and that comes with time with it. Um, I'll, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it seems to me that the slot seam, uh, like a four vertical seam, like something in this, this, uh, streak right here that I'm going to show you, the comeback Z post, that kind of a streak. That seems to be open, uh, even with the invert of the corners. But a streak to like the tight end, or just a standard streak in general, that's not open. So it's kind of like, can you recognize the difference between the two? And I mean, it's really a, just a split second decision as to whether or not you're going to go with him or not. So it's kind of just up to you. But do note that, you know, there are certain scenarios where if... if because, like, right there, I let the tight end go straight because he was on a, a regular streak. But if he had been on, like, a... If it had been, like, the slot receiver on the left, I would have had to go with him. Uh, otherwise, it probably would have been a touchdown. So, hopefully, that makes sense to some of you. Um, uh, well, let's go with the halfback off tackle. See, that's one thing, too, is you can't ever run no huddle with this. And you kind of have to guess, you know, what he's going to call. You can't just come out in your base look and then him show you his look and then you audible out and then he audibles with you and yada yada and vice versa. And that's where the real chess game match is. But this game just doesn't really, unfortunately, the way the rules work, you have to play to them. It really, it really takes away from the game in my opinion. But I don't make the rules for Virgin Gaming. All right. Uh, giant slot will here. Probably a pretty good play call. Let's see what happens. Ends up in a cover two, and that's the one thing you don't want to do against it. So there's another big one. Uh, obviously, um, you know, there was obviously a situation there where he sent pressure out of that, which I like that. Um, in that situation, the ability to avoid a, a free rusher, which is something I pride myself on, is I can... With the quarterback, like, avoidance stick, you can easily uh, avoid a single blitzer. So, it's, wow, that was not a pass interference, even though he interfered with my route. Really like that, EA. Thanks for the thanks for the call, boys. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. I'll tell you what, man, I don't, I don't even know what EA Sports could do, because it, it's very complicated to really program a game like this. Where it's, you know, based off of what I do, what he does, that kind of thing. And it's all kind of like hit or miss. But, man, it'd be really nice if we could get some consistency. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot they can do. So that's just kind of the way it is. Alright, here we go. We're going to reset the play so we get to the huddle faster. I do like that, but it's really kind of frustrating when people do that. we got a screen. i got a contain over there. Should have been a pick six. That's ridiculous. Like, why do they drop so many... That's another thing. Literally, they, like... I know we say this every year, but it seems like they drop... Like, this year are not as bad. Um, actually kind of worse, but... They drop so many picks. It's ridiculous. Slip screen again. I got the contain over there again. And basically, I'm just using my philosophy of blitzing from the short side of the field and then covering everything else so this situation uh, third and ten this is where I like to send heavy pressure unfortunately the way the game works um, I've actually got this new play I want to show it to you guys real quick but basically it's it's pretty unique I haven't seen a whole lot of people call this uh, type of play but basically you see that right there the invert of the yellows that's to stop those streaks right there. And then you have the purples over there for the corner routes. Of course, they need to play them to work properly. But, um, I don't know. I haven't seen a whole lot of people do that. Uh, draw. When you're blitzing. Oh, my gosh. Darren Sproles. You parted the Red Sea there, buddy. And this is a simple play. set up because and there's your pick um 
it's a simple play to set up because basically it's your you're, you're just gonna cycle through your guys and, and quick adjustment quickly adjust each individual one and when you and that's one thing I do want to talk about today is when you know what you're doing and when I say you know what you're doing it doesn't mean like you know everything about the game or you know you know or you know exactly how everything works it's that you know what you're calling and so you don't have to hesitate you're like should I put this guy on a hook should I put this guy on a fight you know exactly your playing calls so that way you can adjust a lot faster um, so hopefully that makes some sense to you guys as he quits here uh, this is a quick gameplay I want to go ahead and, and share this with you guys because we did get some cool stuff but hopefully that stuff makes sense so Anyways, guys, hit us back in the next gameplay. Um, we'll play a couple games, and uh, we'll get some recorded uh, commentary for you. Thanks for watching so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary, and we'll see you guys next time.